Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews on How To, and today we're going to shave a little bit of temperature off the Zotac GTX 780. This applies to pretty much all graphics cards. Okay, so with the temperatures rising all around the uh, UK and also pretty much around the globe at the moment, um, graphics cards, CPUs, etc., all getting very hot and toasty inside our chassis. So every now and then is very worthwhile doing is replacing the thermal compound on your graphics card or your CPU. Now in this instance, I'm gonna be doing it on a graphics card. This is a particularly hot running card, the Zotac GTX 780. Uh, it does put out a similar sort of wattage to a thermonuclear detonation. So we're gonna replace the, uh, the compound on this graphics card. It's pretty easy to do. Now you need some very basic tools. Now one of which is a cross-headed screwdriver of some sort. Um, I've got an electrician screwdriver set, but anything will do. Uh, you'll need some thermal compound. I'm going to be using the uh, Arctic MX4 thermal compound. It's really good stuff, and it's uh, quite cheap to buy, and comes in a nice, uh, nice applicator, rather than being in like a little pouch or whatever. So, in a syringe is a really easy way of doing it. So, first thing to do is to take the card apart. So, on most graphics cards, you'll find that there are a number of screws on the back. The ones you want to concentrate on are the four central ones which cover over the uh, GPU die. Now this is going to differ for pretty much every different graphics card, um, but just take this as a, uh, a rough guide or example. Obviously any damage you do to your graphics card, um, I'm completely not liable. This is uh, something you should do if you feel confident to do it, if you don't, Take it to your local PC hardware store and they'll probably do it for you for a minimal charge. So that's the four screws removed. So now we can gently remove the PCB from the cooler, hopefully. Now, generally, these are connected to the fan assembly by a connector. Now, in this case, mine is there. You can choose to disconnect it if you wish or just uh, move it to one side for ease of use. So we've already got some thermal compound on here, which uh, isn't the greatest of thermal compounds. So take a, a cloth, preferably a lint-free cloth, but to be honest with you, it doesn't really make a great deal of difference. Um, and just remove any paste which is accumulated from uh, both sides, from the actual cooler assembly and the uh, GPU itself. Now you can use things like um, alcohol wipes, that kind of thing, or isopropyl alcohol, just to clean it off completely. It's not entirely necessary. Some people will say you have to do it. In my experience, uh, I've done this on a, a number of graphics cards, a number of CPUs. I don't think it makes a great deal of difference. But uh, again, refer to your manufacturer thermal paste instructions. If they say to use it, then definitely go ahead and use it. Okay, so when you feel that you've removed uh, as much of the compound as you possibly can, now it's time to reapply the new stuff. Now try and do this on a flat surface if you possibly can, because uh, some compounds are runnier than others and you'll find it going all over the place. So gently put a small, small bit of compound on the actual GPU die. Okay, so with your compound, you want to try and get it as thin and evenly spread as possible. There's various methods of doing that. You can use a scraper, or I generally tend to use my finger just to kind of pat it around and get a nice coverage. Now, because this is a, uh, a bare GPU die, there's no heat spreader involved. You need to get complete coverage. Unlike with CPUs, where they've got a heat spreader, so you can put a dot on the top and it'll spread out and it'll cover pretty much the entire surface. With this, it's best to try and get it to cover as much as you possibly can uh, before you reattach the cooling assembly. Okay, so that's the thermal compound on there, spread nice and evenly, so now it's time to reassemble the graphics card. Now, obviously, reassembly is gonna be the reverse of disassembly. So carefully turn the uh, GPU over and try and match up holes on the cooler to the holes on the PCB.
So when you can see the holes of the, uh, the cooler through the graphics card, you know you've done a good job. And also a little bit of wiggling when you put it on will actually help some of the uh, thermal paste to, uh, to spread across the die. Now when you're doing the card back up, so you don't put too much tension on it, it's best to do the screws up in a crisscross pattern and don't do them up all the way to start with, just a couple of turns just to get the thread started. So when you're happy that all the screws are threaded, then you can go ahead and do the final tightening. Try not to over tighten them. As soon as you start feeling any resistance, just stop. So there we go, that was it. That was pretty straightforward. All we had to do is remove the, uh, the cooler, put some new paste on, reattach it, and now we can put it back in the PC and enjoy some lower temperatures on the graphics card. Uh, this will help the graphics card boost up as most new graphics cards have some kind of boosting feature um, so that if the temperature is within a certain threshold it will boost the performance of the card to get you better frames per second in your games or rendering time in your videos. So that's been how to replace the thermal paste on a graphics card. Hopefully it's been interesting for you. If it has, click on the like button. If it's not, click on the dislike button. And if your comments are a little bit more complicated than uh, like or dislike, put them in the comments section below and join in the conversation. I've been Mike, this is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and we will catch you again in the very next video. Thanks for watching.